woman takes so long in the loo? <laughs> when you have to visit a public toilet, you usually find a line of women. So you smile politely and take your place. Once it's your turn, you check for feet under the cubicle doors. Every cubicle is occupied. Finally, a door opens and you dash in, nearly knocking down the woman leaving the cubicle. You get in to find the door won't latch. It doesn't matter. The wait has been so long you're about to wet your pants. The dispenser for the modern seat covers, invented by somebody's mum, no doubt, is handy but empty. You would hang your bag in the door hook if there was one, so you carefully but quickly drape it round your neck. <laughs> Mum would turn in her grave if you put it on the floor. <laughs> Down with your pants and assume the stance. In this position, your ageing, toneless thigh muscles begin to shake. You'd love to sit down, but having not taken the time to wipe the seat or to lay the to toilet paper on it, you hold the stance. <laughs> to take your mind off your trembling thighs, you reach for what you discover to be the empty toilet paper dispenser. In your mind, you can hear your mother's voice saying, Dear, if you had tried to clean the seat, you would have known there was no toilet paper. <laughs> your thighs shake more. You remember the tiny tissue that you blew your nose on yesterday. <laughs> the one that's still in your bag, the bag round your neck, that now you have to hold up, trying not to strangle yourself at the same time. That would have to do, so you crumple it in the puffiest way possible. <laughs> it's still smaller than your thumbnail. Someone pushes your door open because the latch doesn't work. The door hits your bag, which is hanging round your neck in front of your chest, and you and your bag topple backwards against the tank of the toilet. Occupied, you scream, as you reach for the door, dropping your precious tiny crumpled tissue in a puddle on the floor, while losing your footing altogether and sliding down directly onto the toilet seat. It is wet, of course. You bolt up, knowing all too well that it's too late. Your bare bottom has made contact with every imaginable germ and life form on the uncovered seat because you had, you never laid down toilet paper. Not that there was in any, even if you had taken the time to try. You know that your mother would be entirely appalled if she knew, because you're certain her bare bottom never touched a public <laughs> toilet seat, because frankly, dear, you just don't know what kind of diseases you could get. By this time, the automatic sensor on the back of the toilet is so confused that it flushes, propelling a stream of water like a fire hose against the inside of the bowl and spraying a fine mist of water that covers your bum and runs down your legs and into your shoes. The flush somehow sucks everything down with such force that you grab onto the empty toilet paper dispenser for f fear of being dragged down too. At this point you give up. You're soaked by the spewing water and the wet toilet seat. You're exhausted. You try to wipe with a sweet paper you find in your pocket. <laughs> and then slink out inconspicuously to the sinks. You can't figure out how to operate the taps with the automatic sensors, so you wipe your hands with a spit and a dry paper towel and walk past the line of women still waiting. You are no longer able to smile politely to them. A kind soul at the very end of the line points out a piece of toilet paper tracing trailing from your shoe. Where was that when you needed it? You yank the paper from your shoe, plunk it in the woman's hand and tell her warmly, here, you just might need this. As you exit, you spot your hubby, who has long since entered, used and left the men's toilet. Annoyed, he asks, what took you so long? And why is your bag hanging around your neck? <laughs> This is 
dedicated to women everywhere who deal with any public restrooms, toilet. Rest? You've got to be kidding. It finally explains to the men what really does take us so long. It also answers that other commonly asked question about why women go to the toilets in pairs. It's so the other gal can hold the door, hang on to your bag and hand you Kleenex under the door. <laughs> this had to be written by a woman. No one else could describe it so accurately. Oh.